best and I better than the rest and if I hear team beat your chest, he's a schoolboy football, a team could rise and a team could fall, but they never will know until the whistle blows around, come enjoy the show, he's a schoolboy football. Walker Cup semi-final action at the National Stadium East Field. That aerial shot shows the beauty, the greenery. It's a St. Andrew Technical versus Woolmers boys. What a Walker Cup semi-final that we are expecting to see. Two juggernauts historically and in recent memory go all out over 90 minutes and perhaps the dreaded penalties for a chance to hold this prestigious title. Woolmers are accustomed to this title, having won it five times. Stats, on the other hand, they've never won it. But with a title drought at the under-19 level, close shaves, especially in the Manning Cup final, they certainly have hunger and it should show in what is expected to be a cracker of a semi-final. Dean Smith with me, LeJay Williams. What a moment we're about to witness. And uh, the action certainly has great significance in the Walker Cup. Yeah, most definitely. You know, I think the teams that are participating in this Walker Cup semi-final, both of the semi-finals, I think have dispelled what the, the notion that people have been trying to pedal forward, that this is a loser's cup. And I think last season was the same as well. We've seen a lot of quality in both of the semi-finals and we're going to see a lot of quality in both of the semi-finals say andrew technical a team that has been to three manning cup semi-finals and finals in over the past few years wilma's boys who have won five walker cup titles where we can we could possibly see a repeat of last year's manning cup final in the walker cup final so that just goes to show the quality all throughout urban area schoolboy football this season and it's definitely a game i'm looking forward to today pleasantries being done by the sponsors and the organizers, Issa, as the teams should meet each other in a few moments. Pullman's there in blue tops and the maroon and gold shorts. Of course, there was a possibility of a kid clash, so that had to be, their, their tops had to be changed to ensure that everyone would be able to distinguish them effectively. St. Andrew Technical, they're in predominantly gold with maroon stripes and they now greet the match officials as we get ready for semi-final action final day of november malikari the referee assisted by garvin cavallo and kemoy reed the fourth official omar heinz <laughs> having a little chat among themselves keeping the laughter keeping the camaraderie but let's have a quick look at the starting lineup for St. Andrew Technical. In goal, they have Jaheim Williams, Alex Xavier Good, Nicoy Gale, J. Lloyd Smith, Richard Livingston, Leon Brown, Kalonji Watson, Andre Salmon, Dwayne Atkinson, Kevin Hall, Rashawn Frankson. They're coached by Philip Williams. Yeah, this team used to getting to finals. They'll be looking to replicate that today. That's Nathaniel Brooks there, giving a hand to one of his teammates. Let's have a quick look at their lineup. Jelani Yusim. Nathaniel Brooks, Dante Dekas, Jason Hamilton, Axe Wright, DeAndre Reed, Jaheim Bicente, and Benjamin Griffiths. They're coached by Jerome Waite. Yeah, Jerome Waite is a coach that is used to winning. He has revitalized this women's program. I think they're playing some good stuff, and they'll be looking to cause another upset in this Walker Cup. Benjamin Griffiths, the captain for Woolmers. Richard Livingston for Stats. In the toss, they participate. You want to pick a side or you want to All right, the introductions, the pleasantries. All through, and the pitches as well for posterity, I'm sure. Should be very, very interesting. A light breeze across the stadium east field. Nothing that should harm the effectiveness of the play. And of course, the players won't mind that at all because the sun has been out in all its glory. I'm still waiting for the Christmas breeze, as they call it. 
I, I'm, I'm not sure we have about 25 days before that and I haven't felt one gush of that kind of wind, Lejay. I, I think you're in the wrong area as I was here a couple nights ago for the Jamaica Premier League and it was certainly in full effect. Maybe if you stay late enough, you'll experience it today, Dean. Well, should be late today. The other match starts at 5.15. That would bring me late enough into the evening, perhaps not as late as a Premier League match. But if I feel it, I'll stay around, I can promise you. They psych up themselves, the Woolmers. As they get ready, Nathaniel Brooks, the number 10, 22 goal contributions, direct goal contributions that he has made 10 goals, 12 assists. Let's see if he can deliver. Stats, they have the kickoff. Malika Reed has the whistle. St. Andrew Technical with the kickoff. Man in the middle looks like Andre Salmon. Let's see if they can rebound or can Wilmers rebound. Nicole Gale on the ball early. And how many times have we seen that pattern repeated, that long ball to the left side of the attack. Wilmers now in possession. Vicente. Here's an Andrew Technical. Leon Brown on the ball now. Leon Brown trying to whip it in. Effectively blocked. Corner kick conceded there by Bulmers. Yeah, that's an unnecessary one. Given up by DeAndre Reed. His failure to clear his lines. I present say Andrew Technical with the first chance. His troops, Philip Williams, the first chance to get a serious chance on the board. Captain Richard Livingston, the man behind it, has a good kick. He does, swings it across, headed out. Still not fully clear. They'll try to clear now. Referee gives the call. Dante Dick as they're being pulled down. Still in a bit of discomfort. Kalonji Watson had a belter in the early stages of the Manning Cup against St. Catherine High. Captain tries to play it up. That's Griffiths. Lifted in the area. Smith trying to head it away. He did, giving up a corner. Yes, yeah, see Andrew Technical and Wilmers High School. Of course, coached by Jerome Waite. His second season in charge of the boys in maroon, well, in blue today. And they'll have their first corner of the match. Dante Dacos over there to swing it in. Oh, I, 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 Nathaniel Brooks. Nathaniel Brooks can't miss him. Lifted in the area. That was dangerous. Griffiths trying to keep it up alive for Woolmers, but they go the other way through. Kevin Hall does that. Salmon, good take there. Frankson, it's now with Livingston. His ball to Hall. Hall is through. Went for the shot at the near post. Yeah, couldn't get that one either across goal or on target. Tight angle after all. Was put under some pressure by David Morris. And in the end, that pressure told. Will must survive. Here's Frankson now.
It's a throw in for St. Andrew Technical deep in the Woolmers half. Big central defender, Alex Xavier Gooden. Having the duties for this one. Sends it long. Fulmer's trying to clear. Brooks going forward. Senator Technical able to snap out that spark. Here they come again. Good clearance on that occasion by Duhaney. Clash of the sevens. Here they come again. Whistle there on the play. Duhaney over there on that right hand side. Dangerous, dangerous dribbler, dribbler as well. Coming from deep, Duhaney. Creates quite a lot. Five goals and six assists this season. And he's over there on that wing with Adan Day. So I think we'll see Wilma's attack down that right hand side quite often. Thompson. Here's Bicenti. Duhaney was there trying to play through Adon Day. Here's stats once more. That ball came out effectively. Played up now with Dekas. Track and field athlete is Dekas, but capable in defense there was Watson. Now gave up a corner kick. Yeah, clear there was a touch that Gooden really didn't see. And on this occasion, it's going to be there because to swing this one in. Hey, hey, ah. I think he'll want that one back. Frank now trying to go the other way for Senator Technical. Playing up quickly to Brown. His first touch, given too much space. Vicente able to play it out. It's a throw in for stats. Philip Williams not happy with what he's seen. Here's Brown, well, almost to Brown. The right, right sided center back is Alex Xavier Gooden, tried to switch it to Thomas, Thompson rather, but that didn't work out. Here's Dale going the other end for Woolmers. Almost got it through the legs, but Nikoi Gale, the ever present. Def uh, defensive midfielder there. Here they come now. This is through to Leon Brown. Can he convert? He showed too much to Jelani Yusim. And it's danger averted for Wilmers. They go the other way through Dekas now. Dekas with the diagonal run. Turns back. Goes forward again. You wonder what he was thinking there. Yeah, not enough options in his mind. But that was a huge, huge chance opening up for St. Andrew Technical there. It was Leon Brown, the 16 goal man, racing through. But that second touch, just too heavy. And it definitely gave Usim a chance. That's a chance that he took. And he's going to need some treatment, actually. Had a chat with Philip Williams when they played, I think it was Kingston Technical in the round of 16 in the Manning Cup. And he said that one of the things that he definitely wants to improve on from his players is their uh, technical abilities because in many instances, their hard work in uh, play gets them back possession, but it's so easy for them to 
give up possession based on technical deficiencies as we saw there with Leon Brown and uh, yeah definitely should have had a better first touch can't blame him too much but I just thought it applicable to mention that conversation we had here's Woolmans Brooks that one cut out by Gooden spreading it wide to Frankson now Frankson been marshaled there but he gets it across no stat shirt was there here's Gale skips by one goes for the shot St. Andrew technical in glory land at the moment Nikoi Gale he's loving it He is loving it. And it almost seemed inevitable as soon as he cut in on that right foot, beat a Woolmans player, and as soon as it left his boot, it almost seemed inevitable that he was going to nestle into that bottom corner. And nestle it surely did. You can maybe say that the goalkeeper was a bit unsighted, but the shot was true. And it's a shot that has put, say, Andrew Technical 1-0 up in this Walker Cup semi-final. Joy unspeakable for him. He is, he is on the ball once more. And the confidence certainly rising for St. Andrew Technical. Here's Watson. His ball cut out by Jishon Hamilton. Here's Brooks. Ball to Dakers. Was off. Here's Frankson. His pass. Always a different look to say Andrew Technical. McCoy Gale getting his first of the season, actually. What a time and way to get it. But always a different look to say Andrew Technical's midfield when Kalanji Watson is in there. Much more of a deeper line midfielder. Sits more so along as Dakers attempts a shot. It's more so along with Nikoi Gale, giving them an even stronger base. I guess in that instance, he gave Nikoi Gale a bit of license to go forward to devastating effect. I thought they were really missing that against in the semi final against Mona, the additional man in midfield to help Nikoi Gale. And of course, as you mentioned, benefits accruing to them as early as the 10th minute. Yeah, a lot to ponder now for Jerome Waite. Just saw him there not too long ago. See, Andrew Technical are a very difficult team to beat once they go ahead, as we've seen throughout all of this season and past years as well. It's when you peg them back for a considerable amount of time, that's when you get a chance as Kingston College would have shown in the Manning Cup quarterfinals. Here's Dakers for Woolmers. Trying to open up some space. Well, showing great skill there, but it's an under technical defense equal to that. Yeah, and there's Kalanji Watson in action. So two natural defensive midfielders in there for say Andrew Technical and can see the benefits of it. Alex Xavier couldn't beat him very rarely. Chair Lloyd Smith there playing it out for a corner kick for Woolmers. This is in the 13th minute of play. But I'm really happy for the are many individuals who have a problem with the title Walker Cup being attributed to this particular competition in the current format. But I do appreciate the fact that players get more opportunity to play so having failed to progress to for instance the top eight or the top 16 in the ben francis cup teams still get more opportunity to play and that is important here's a corner kick so he williams got a hand to that brooks on the end of it now he's marshaled by thompson brooks lifts it in the area the header is on the offside flag was up as well. Yeah, I think it spared the blushes actually. 
of Adan Day, I think it was stealing in. That, that back post completely unmarked. Yeah, outside flag up, so nothing doing on that instance. But a good ball in from Brooks as well. Smith plays it to the Woolmers bench. Morris taking the throw quickly. Takers back to Morris. Brooks unable to take it down. Well, he gets it now under pressure. Lays it off to Dakers. Dakers lifts it today. He was offside once more. Woman showing some good pressure in the middle third of the pitch. Always looking to get it forward as quickly as possible. Nathaniel Brooks, their main architect this season. At least five more assists than anyone else in the team. Long searching ball from Gooden, taken down well. Salmon to Frankson. Brown. This pressure. And Sean sure Vicente played it out for a throw in again. It's an under technical deep in the Woolmers half. Frankson goes long. Comes to. It was it looked like Gale again. Yeah, it was. Yeah, clearly very right footed Nikoi Gale. Not the same success on his left. Once again, showing that he has more of a license to go forward with his current lineup. Here is the ball across from Salmon. On the end of it, couldn't get it. He goes against Salmon. Livingston, he was offside. Flag was up. It's called back now. Livingston on that occasion was going for the overhead bicycle kick. I wonder where he got inspiration. Perhaps it was this Sunday. Yeah, we've been seeing bicycle kicks all over the island in so many games now. Inspiration really does travel. As well as it should. Here's Brown. Doing well. Good challenge on that occasion from the captain. Brown still has possession though. Watson. Has made better passes. Here's Woolmans trying to come forward, but they give up possession. It's to be Atkinson, Livingston. Atkinson goes for the shot. Parried away. Still alive for stats. A penalty has been called. Sent on to technical all over Woolmans at the moment. And it was Livingston following in. And that challenge did seem late. And once he didn't get to the ball first, it was always going to happen. Salmon with the shot, Livingston following in, and yeah, a really late challenge there. That's about a stone wall, a penalty, as you're going to see David Morris giving that one up for Wilmers. And it's going to be the skipper to step up, looking to get his 10th goal of the season, Richard Livingston. Gives St. Andrew Technical a 2-0 lead 
and a very firm foot in the Walker Cup final. Richard Livingston versus Jelani Yusim have seen quite a few penalties the past few weeks. Here's Livingston. Steps up, converts. The goalkeeper did go the correct way. Hard and low. He couldn't go get low enough. Yeah, not the best of penalties on that occasion, but there is a saying from it goes in, it is a good penalty. So in the eyes and the mind of Richard Livingston and his coach, Philip Williams, yeah, that one could not be saved. Didn't have the power, but it definitely had the direction. And most importantly, it's giving St. Andrew Technical a 2-0 lead now in this semi-final. And it's interesting now to see the response of Wilmers. The team that has been labeled as the Walker Cup team, especially over the last decade. Three championships to their name. As a water break comes up now, I think. Confirmation of the 10th goal for Richard Livingston, the captain. Play has been refreshed. The sun is out in all its glory. Goalkeeper being treated for St. Andrew Technical. Substitute goalkeeper warming up as well and you would imagine that they have some measure of confidence and ease flagman is loving it perhaps they aren't loving it as much beaker is loving the music and the champions cup final coming up on saturday Here's a replay of the goals. McCoy Gale with the first. Really good finish, that one. Got away from Nathaniel Brooks with ease. And then finished with even more ease. Clean strike, pure strike. And that's how St. Andrew Technical went up 1-0. That's the joy of a man who has only scored one this season. He scored 10. Certainly doesn't have the same amount of excitement. Understandably so. Download the Sportsmax app today. Get it on the Google Play or the Apple App Store. See all the action in scoreboard football this season. You have a Champions League, tennis, NBA. So many sports available on the Sportsmax app. Get it today. I'm sure you're sporting... Here they come. Well, they almost tried to come there. Watson keeps it in for St. Andrew Technical. Lays it off to Gale. It's past week. Here's the Haney going the other way for Ulmers. Plays it out for a throw in for stats. Here they come now. Ball played. Salmon trying to get it across. Atkinson was there in the thick of things. Not cleared. Franks is trying to get on it. Here's Woolman's trying to clear now through. Reed has space to play it forward. Only played to Gooden, who combines well with Brown. Here they come now. St. Andrew Technical. Livingston unable to get that. Here they come once more. Frankson. Dangerous from this area. Watson. 
whips it across. Brown on the end of it now for St. Andrew Technical. Can he get by two? Ops for the pass. Gale sends it further wider to Livingston. His cross intercepted. They still have possession though. Watson under pressure, but lays it off to Good. Good. Real ease to the way say Andrew Technical are knocking this one around. Not much pressure on the ball. Here they come. Salmon trying to get through on that end, but the captain able to thwart the danger. Griffiths. Here's Duhaney. Fuck. Frankson. Brooks trying to play it out, but that's cut out. Passing just hasn't been crisp for Woolmers at all. Here's Gale. Smith. Good. Watson. Franks are now on the end of it. Hamilton with this firm challenge. Plays it out for a throw in. Here's Livingston. Acres of space. Lifts it across. Salmon couldn't get on the end of this. Here's a shot from distance. That's the second wild shot from the top of the box that we've seen from either of the St. Andrew Technical defensive midfielders. Andrew Watson on that occasion not getting the proper connection. Good. Certainly in control now. Wilmers well, sitting back, giving them acres of space to play it around. And they are okay doing that. They have the repetitions in them to keep possession and to progress it forward through Watson as they do now. Here's Atkinson. Leon Brown to Frankson. Frankson whips it across. You seem had to get a touch. Here's Livingston. The header is there. It's on the frame. Booted out now by Wilmers. And once again, say Andrew Technical creating chances at will. And that was another one where they came so close. Wilmers counting their lucky stars because that's. That should have been 3 0. That's a Woolmans players down here. And they definitely need a breather from how they've been playing. Here's the opportunity again. Yusim got a hand to it, but Livingston, the captain, was able to lift it in the area. And Atkinson off the crossbar. They all look a bit hungry to get on the score sheet for St. Andrew Technical. David Morris being brought off the field of play. Substitute being sent to warm up. That's Jamaica College. They're looking at their potential 
rival should they make it to the final. They face up with Excelsior in the second semi final. Can they go the other way now? Right. Couldn't get a hold to it. Watson. Franson is through. Fires. Saved by Yusim. Yeah, good chance there. I think it was actually for Salmon. Yeah, it was Salmon. Hard to see the numbers, of course, <laughs> especially they say Andrew Technical Jersey, but it was a firm strike. But Yusim was right behind it. Did well to parry it away for our corner, but the chances are piling up for St. Andrew Technical yet again. Those Wilmers girls who made the trek over to support their school, as we saw Devon Anderson on screen there as well. Devin Stone getting it in the area. Salmon again trying to fire. Back to Livingston. Gooden does well to keep it to Smith. Smith to the back post. The goalkeeper is there. Good work from Smith and Watson. And now Frankson. Good ball to Atkinson. Doing well to evade the pressure, gets it through. Seems as if we're going to see the first substitution of the game here. Dimitri Jackson will be coming on for David Morris, the injured David Morris. Because gave it away cheaply. Livingston. Livingston trying to shoot there. Charge down and fizzle to the keeper. Here's Brooks going the other way for Olmers. His ball through. Can Dakers get it? Referee has a card for Dakers. His challenge against Alex Xavier Gooden. Yeah, they could certainly left something in there. Good and clearly in a lot of pain. Is up and ready now. Minute number 33 for this encounter. The semi finals of the Walker Cup. St. Andrew Technical and Woolmers, if you're just joining us. Duhaney for Woolmers. Day. Vicente. There goes the other way now through the captain Livingston for St. Andrew Technical. Cleared by the captain Griffiths. Only as far as Gale. Here's Thompson to the captain Livingston. Blasted against Dimitri Jackson there for throwing. Oh, 
Watson doing well there. Here's Frankson now. Trying to put Duhaney under pressure. Well, she led on that occasion. It's a goal kick for Wilmers. Here they come now, through Brown. St. Andrew Technical trying to advance. Good challenge from Vicente. Averting the danger, gives up a corner. Well, actually played off Brown. It's a cold kick. Griffiths. And as a loose pass coming in from Wilmers. Certainly not their best half of the season. But you have to say a lot of it has been caused by the effectiveness of this say Andrew Technical unit. Atkinson. Good ball to Salmon. His turn was fantastic. It did slip through almost there. Jackson with defensive duties gives it away to Brown. Livingston across to Frankson. Atkinson was trying to finish there, but Brooks now able to clear. Here comes the day. Can't be dangerous. J. Lloyd Smith and Jaheim Williams were in a no nonsense mood on that occasion. Yeah, and lack of communication between the defender and the center back there. In the end, it is a throw in. Duhaney. Brooks will go for the shot. Hope Springs Eternal. Yeah, and that shot I think pretty much sums up this Wilma's first half performance. Here's Gale, goes into traffic, loses possession. He gains it though. Poor passes from Wilma's. Again, they're undoing. Here's Gooden. Kept in play. Or is it? Gail there being he's now going to be brought off some treatment Nutsman is there a few spectators on hand as well A bit scary there. Duhaney is is well. Yeah, up very quickly, Duhaney. Trying a bit of trickery down the line, but was extinguished. What can they do here? Add on day. 
Franks in a no-nonsense mood. Throw taken by Bulmers. Brooks. Dekas. Day. That's the bad sequence on that occasion. Is Duhaney once more. Goes away of Salmon now. Almost getting through the final defender there was Salmon, but we must play out now through Vicente. Thompson on the other hand for stats in possession. They have been purposeful all afternoon, has the St. Andrew Technical. Dekas. Day. Solid as rock was Nicoy Gale on that occasion. Here's Frankson trying to go the other way. seemingly growing into the game the past couple of minutes some good possession sequences and it continues crucial header by Gooden to break up that sequence still possession for almost through a throw in taken quickly to Dakers doing well there's Dakers day certainly wasn't in the same wavelength didn't make a run to create an outlet and the defensive firmness of St. Andrew Technical be undoing there they play forward through Salmon was a wonderful first takes he has possession the Salmon judge for brought down the Dante Dekas Needing some treatment. He'll be all right. Good and company there. Thirteen or eighteen on that occasion. Your guess is as good as mine. Here they come, Walmers. Give away cheaply by right. Here's Brown. Watson. That wide left in position does Livingston gets so many balls in that area of the park. Here's Thompson. Livingston unable to get it across. Yeah, second time in a row that cross hasn't panned out for Livingston. But always eager to whip a ball into the box from that area. We're expecting three minutes of added on time. At the end of this first half. Go, 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 go. 
Gale. Gets the throw in for all their work, their stats. Dehaney has been in the wars. Here's Dekas. Vicente giving it away in a dangerous area. Here's Salmon. Salmon finally getting it off. And it was all full. Yeah, not the best of efforts there from Salmon. It's actually going to be four minutes of stoppage time. As we must try a ball over the top. It should be handled by Jaim Williams, and it is. Nicole Gale. Trying to stab it forward for, uh, for Brown, Leon Brown, leading marksman. Here's Livingston, gets it across. Salmon on the end of it. Salmon! Shoot on sight. And it's another chance wasted for St. Andrew Technical. They are comfortably up in this one, but I reckon that they should have had at least two or three more goals. Salmon trying to atone for his miss kick there. Working hard, getting the free kick. Frank's naive, eager to take it. Here's another look at it. Got it off as soon as it fell. Wilmers, they've been on the end of conceding from free kicks. Different keeper was between the six on that occasion. Here's Livingston. Get it out, but at the near post, he couldn't convert there. Dwayne Atkinson. That's a really good chance again, but that's a really good save by Yusim. Low down to his left. Did everything right there, Atkinson. Baker's trying to go the other way now. Again, solid defensive work from Kilonji Watson. Frustrated figure. It's Dante Dakers at the moment. Alex Wright, Brooks, here's Day, his ball wayward only to Frankson who has space to play it forward. Atkinson winning that one. Showing great speed is Atkinson. Being marshaled by Reed. Doing well, Atkinson. No foul 
Franson now. A smart play from Reed, mind you. Going around Atkinson to get it out, but in the end, Frankson was on hand. Malika Reed has seen enough of the first half. First half dominated by St. Andrew Technical with two goals for all their labors. The first from that man, Nikoi Gale, from a beautiful strike outside of the box. Second, a penalty converted by the captain, Richard Livingston. The Walker Cup semi final. Half number one is completed. St. Andrew Technical leading Woolmers. JPL on Sportsmax and CTV. Malines United versus Lime Hall this Sunday. 3 p.m. for in the rest of the Caribbean. Arnett Gardens versus Veer. Sunday, 5.15, 6 in the rest of the Caribbean. On Monday, Treasure Beach versus Harbour View. 5 p.m., 6 in the Eastern Caribbean. That's on Sportsmax 2. Also in Sportsmax 2. Montego Bay United versus Mount Pleasant, 7.30, 8.30 in the rest of the Caribbean. Welcome back to, to Stadium East Field. St. Andrew Technical lead in Bulmas in this is a World Cup semi-final, two goals to nil. And Lejay, your thoughts going into the second half? Yes, yeah, St. Andrew Technical, last year's Mining Cup finalist, very dominant in this one, showing that they are a very serious team in this competition, not taking it like, lightly. But Wilma's a team with a lot of prestige in the Walker Cup. A team that has won it the fourth most times with five. They won't be going down without a fight. Them or their coach, Jerome Waite, who is used to winning this prestigious, prestigious cup. 62 years the Walker Cup has been contested. Both of these teams will be going full guns blazing as well as Jamaica College and Excelsior next up. But here come Wilmers right away. It's to Haney for Wilmers being marshaled and guarded by Kemar Thompson. Left sided center back. The back three. But Duhaney gets it across but cleared out. Leon Brown in a battle with Griffiths. Griffiths headed it back. Still not convincing the cleared by Wilmers. They do give away the possession now through a throw-in. Brown taking it quickly. I'm sure Wilmers looking to unsettle. Say Andrew Technical as early as possible in the second half. Something that Philip Williams I'm sure would have prepared his boys for early on. A couple of tweaks to the Woolmer system as well. You can see Duhaney playing high on the right early on. Dakers through the middle. There's Brooks trying to bring it forward, but Gooden equal to the task. Gets it to the man in midfield, Gale. Lloyd Smith there. Causing some nervous moments for Stats. Dakers, though, was guilty of the infraction on that occasion. Play continues. Good win that by Watson. Oh, 
sat down a few Wilmers defenders and route to winning that foul, Kalanji Watson. In a dangerous position, they have a free kick. Sent to technical. Devin stand behind it. Will he go to the back post or will he go straight to goal? Here he comes. Going to the back post. No one was there. He clearly favors being a provider, Livingston. Yeah. Haven't seen him strike directed to goal. From any of those free kicks. Here they come again. Atkinson. Laid it off to Brown, but it's still in possession. Here's Livingston. Getting it across. The goalkeeper getting a hand to it. The danger not averted. Franks are getting it. That's cut out quickly. And a day. Trying to use pace. Doesn't have enough of it, it seems. Yeah, Gundon did really well there to intervene. Always a very active defender, Alexavier Gooden, national under 17 representative. Wouldn't be surprised to see him in the, the Jamaica Premier League once schoolboy football is over. Here they come again. Through on goal, but that was saved brilliantly by Jelani Yusim. How many times can we say that? Yeah, that's quite brilliant. That's a quite brilliant save by Yusim. Atkinson knew exactly what he wanted to do, showed the goalkeeper what he was going to do as well, opening his body up. Good reaction save by the Woolmers, number one on the day. Levinston with the corner for St. Andrew Technical. We're short to the near post. They get the opportunity to go again. Levinston trying to go to the back post. Flick on header over the top. Here's Day. Getting by one. I think he was looking to fool the referee on that occasion, overran it, knew he couldn't get to it, and took a tumble. Wilmers already looking like more of a threat. That's Mr. Wilmers at every Wilmers game. Always great to see. Paul by name, for those who might be wondering. But he will say he's Mr. Wilmers. Here's Leon Brown. We are going to see a Changed by Woolmers early in the second half. Alex Wright will be taking his leave for Jordan Brown. Here they go the other way now. Woolmers. Takers. 
has to be careful there because he's on a yellow card from the first half. Referee screaming at him no more. Here's Wilmers. Watson doing well there. Atkinson giving it away though. Here's Day for Wilmers trying to play it forward. J. Lloyd Smith overzealous on that challenge. It's a free kick for Walmers. Nathaniel Brooks, the man standing behind this one. Malika Reed ensuring the wall is where it should be. Brooks straight to the wall. J. Lloyd Smith will do mop up duties, plays it out for a throw in. Duhaney. Stats doing their utmost to repel Wilmers at this point. Has been a better start from the well, the team that usually wears maroon and gold, blue today, due to a hit clash. Here they come through Brooks. Leon Brown doing well there. Salmon plays it forward for him. Handled effectively now by Bicenti. Tried to play it forward, giving it away. Here's Watson to Salmon, who has been a menace. Salmon in the area. Salmon gets inside. Saved again. Jelani Yusin. Inspiring performance from him. No, danger not averted yet. Played out by Wilmers. And the substitute does the final act. Jordan Brown. And from one number four three up to the other, Alex Xavier Gooden in the play now. But they come again. Atkinson to Salmon. Salmon will go for goal. And he can't believe how he hasn't scored yet, Salmon. I'm quite sure. The chances keep on pouring in for him. Here they come again through Livingston. It's Brown. Turning and twisting, gets it across now. The shot from Frankson. Wide of the mark. Change of mark to be made by St. Andrew Technical. Coming on is uh, number 10, Ajitai Marshall. Today is actually his 17th birthday. He replaces Dwayne Atkinson. Entering the field of playing the 58th minute of the encounter at the time, Marshall. 
Also entering Kevin Hall. He replaces Rashawn Frankson. Possession still with St. Andrew Technical. Here's Marshall. Played it forward for Salmon. Salmon back to Marshall. Marshall turns. Loses possession though. Committed an infraction as well. Reckon that he could have gone for the shot there. Jackson there, unable to keep it in. Here's Salmon, once more in the area. Cut out effectively on that occasion by Bicenti. Whipped in the area by Livingston, played out as far as Brooks. Good header by Gooden. Here's Brooks trying to go the other way. Jaheim Williams out of the box. Dante Dakers there. Williams will be shown a yellow card for that tug on Dante Dakers. He's trying to shield it out, but Dakers did well to fight on that occasion. There is talk about introducing the sin bin for cynical fouls like this. Just the name of it, I'd hate it in football. Yeah, I think they should keep that one far away from the beautiful game. Brooks standing behind this one. They sit in the box, headed on. Griffiths trying to keep it alive, but Thompson plays it forward now. Salmon, his pass didn't connect as he wanted to. He still has another bite, gets it to Brown. He's offside, says the assistant referee was very close from my vantage point. That looks on side to me. I'm sure they're looking at the Sportsmax app just to confirm if that was offside. Yeah, the discussion certainly surrounds that play. Blake, last season's number six, Fort Jamaica College, has the jewelry and all. Yeah, off season now for him. Moved to Chicago in the USL. I'm sure coming to cheer on his team, probably not in the aspect that he would have hoped, but I know he wants them to get through to the final. And if they are going to play St. Andrew Technical, it's looking increasingly likely that they will. That's a huge game just off the historical significance of the last few years at the very least. Jamaica College though would have to navigate the ever-present Excelsior. 
They've had a great run in this competition, the Walker Cup, over the years. Fulmers still in the ball. Duhaney trying to get by one. Unable to get the cross. Kimar Thompson there. Captain Livingston down for St. Andrew Technical. Some of the Excelsior students, certainly not very far away from their base along Mountain View Avenue is the Stadium East Field. For those outside of Jamaica, and perhaps for those not familiar with Kingston. You could say only a stone's throw away, but you'd have to throw the stone very far. Yeah, you'd have to be a shot put, I think, to throw a stone that far. <laughs> Download the Sportsmax app today, get it on the Google Play or the Apple App Store, and watch all the action in schoolboy football, SSFL in Trinidad and Tobago, and a myriad of other sports. Livingston being brought off the field. Fulmer's having a corner. The 65th minute of play. Taken short. Haney getting it back to Brooks. Brooks with the cross. Jordan Brown there. Firing only to Jaheim Williams. Booted forward now. How will stats respond? Kevin Hall getting on the end of this one. He's in the area. Good challenge from Dimitri Jackson to strip him of possession. Gives up the corner kick, but like matters. When you consider the danger, Livingston. Nicoy Gale heading it forward. Hall. Getting it to Gale. He was almost through there on goal. Ever present is Nicole Gale. Here they go the other side now. Jelani Yusim on hand to gobble that one up. Here's Day. Dakers. Day. Looking for the call. Nothing doing, says referee Reed. And Leon Brown will now lead the charge forward. Livingston back to Brown. And Kalanji Watson will slow things down a bit. Here's Duhaney for Woolmers. Getting by one. Getting the foul now as Nicole Gale had to be a bit overzealous. Yeah. As I mentioned pretty early on, it has been a pretty closely contested contest in the second half. Bulma's certainly not going down without a fight, but they need a goal. And quickly, as we go into now the second of the water breaks. So it's 2-0 at the current moment. Here's a look at the goals. First one converted by Nicole Gale. Stepping by one and firing. Griffiths unsighting the keeper, Jelani Yusim. And his first goal of the season, Nicole Gale in dreamland. And they were all loving it. Penalty converted by the captain, Richard Livingston. His 10th goal for the season. 
calm and easy. In front there, we first, Jerome Wake having a chat with his players. His support staff there on hand to share in the moment of tuition as well. So around 23 minutes plus stoppage time now for Wilmers to get back into this one. I must say that the adjustments that Jerome Waite made at halftime has made a difference. As I mentioned right before the water break, they need a goal and quickly to really cement themselves in this tie. I assume Dante Brooks will be over this one, not Nathaniel Brooks, I beg your pardon. 10 goals, 12 assists this season. Let's see what his boot can bring. Daniel Brooks. Jaheim Williams in goal. Here's Brooks going straight to goal. Good movement, this from St. Andrew Technical. They give a possession, though. Dimitri Jackson. Dehaney trying to play for takers, but... Thompson plays it forward, but only to Jackson for Woolmers. He gives it away cheaply. Here's Livingston to Salmon. Salmon feeling some discomfort there. Looks to be cramps. Yeah, you would hope so at the very least. He's a player that they would want to be available for the final if they get there. It has been a hot day, so if it is cramped, no surprise, of course, but he is pointing towards his right calf, which he does have strapped up. So let's see. And it seems as if he will be substituted, so Philip Williams and say Andrew Technical taking absolutely no chances with Saman. Understandably so. Has made some incisive runs into the box. His final action has been thwarted by good goalkeeping. It would be hard to blame it on faulty finishing, really. Jamal Bygrave replaces Andre Salmon. Wilmer's able to push forward. Takers trying to take it quickly to Haney. Gets the throw in courtesy of Kim 
Is that Kimar Thompson? Yes, it was. Kahaney. Just over a quarter of an hour left in this one. Let's see if Wilmers can peg back St. Andrew Technical or if they can consolidate and really put this one out of reach. It's with Watson. Thompson showing too much and giving Duhaney the opportunity to advance now. He returns the favor and the ubiquitous Nikoi Gale there on hand to try to avert danger but it was given away Wilmers now through Dakers can he deliver a telling blow trying to get by one only gets the corner Change coming up for Wilmers now. Nikolai Tyrell. He'll be making his entrance for Jaheim Vicente Tyrell. I beg your pardon. Here's the kick. Here starts going the other way. Beautiful take that by Hall. Brown. Get the return ball as Hall. Tries to get it across. Bygrave was on hand. His shot was blocked. They certainly has put in a shift. Tracking back today. Here's Hall. Trying to find Livingston. He does. Livingston goes wide, lifts it across now. And the end of it! It's the birthday boy! Ajatai Marshall slots it home with the head. And what a birthday present for the substitute. And surely. This consolidates them into the final. St. Andrew Technical. Yeah, not the best handling from Usim. Not good defending initially. And Livingston does love a cross. And Marshall only getting his fourth of the season. But there's none that he would have enjoyed more than that one, I think. On his 17th birthday, Marshall. Bright smile. Not only for the goal, not only for his birthday, but I'm also sure for the fact that, say, Andrew Technical are surely into the Walker Cup final now. Confirmation of the fourth goal for Ajitai Marshall. Four goals this season. Here's Day. Day. 
Dekas trying to take on Gooden. Jackson under all sorts of pressures. Almost gave it away to Bygrave. Yeah, just about Ulmer survive for now. Here they come again. Marshall trying to get on the end of that. He was brought down. Yellow card will come out. Shown to Jashorn Hamilton. Alex Xavier Gooden standing behind this one. I think we know what kind of effort we're expecting. <laughs> the strike of Fury in the quarterfinal matchup against Kingston College. Off the bar and down to the line. Has a kick in him. Foreman wall set up by Wilmers. What kind of magic can we see from Alex Xavier Good? Steps up. Wasn't as fierce as I would have thought. Good technique shown, but the accuracy just wasn't there as see Andrew Technical prepared two more changes. including a goalkeeper change, actually. Delaney White there, coming on for Kalonji Watson. And uh, Mark Roberts enters the fray for Jaheim Williams. <laughs> Only two. Livingston who boots it forward. Marshall trying to get on the end of it. Griffiths. Perhaps symptomatic of the entire Wilmers game this afternoon. trying to steal a few yards there was Kevin Hall here's the delivery at the back post was Gooden arriving still in the area Grave with the shot was blocked. Hamilton was there. Hall now lifts it again. The header is on. Alex Xavier Gooden was there again. Yeah, so often he wins those headers when their deliveries into the box. And I'm sure he'll be disappointed to not have more than his three schoolboy football goals this season. His aerial prowess. 
We see Andrew Technical in full control of this game again, piling up the chances. Here they have the opportunity to come again. Leon Brown. Hamilton there. Showing composure, but only to Gale. Could have been dangerous there. J. Lloyd Smith. Making the foul to clear of the damage that he almost caused. To Haney. Ran into traffic there, but still standing strong. Richard Livingston. Time for the Sports Max app brought to you by Sports Max app moment brought to you by the Sports Max app. First goal of the encounter, Nikoi Gale stepping by one, firing home. His first of the season, can you believe it? What a time to score. And it was a beautiful finish in the end. Shalani Yusim beating all ends out. The Sportsmax app moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app. Of course, get the Sportsmax app on the Google Play or the Apple App Store. And you can follow the action of schoolboy football and see so many other sport of your choice. Livingston still being attended to. Bit of keeping up by Mark Roberts, a substitute keeper, and Nikoi Gale. Familiar face there in a Jamaica College uniform. I'm sure the game spent last season with Kingston College. Unable to compete this season for Jamaica College, but sure we'll see him next year. Here's the kick. Headed away by Gale. Gale has been everywhere. Really had a great game. Here's by Grave. Marshall's first touch let him down.
Brooks. Day was sent to chase in, but J. Lloyd Smith well able to keep in possession. The stats. Referee sees nothing wrong with that one. Here's the Haney now for Walmers. Trying to slip it forward, but so Lloyd Smith has lost possession. Dimitri Jackson there trying to be a menace. Must be said, it has been a relatively comfortable afternoon for St. Andrew Technical and their defense. I think, I think they're well worth their 3 0 advantage. Not much time remaining now between them and a spot in a Walker Cup final. A trophy, remember that St. Andrew Technical have never won. Haven't won a trophy at the under 19 level since 1987 when they won the Manning Cup and the Olivia Shield. This, I'm sure, a trophy that they would love to add to their ranks. Especially since they're beating what you can call stalwarts of the Walker Cup. In the process of doing so in Wilmers team with the fourth most scalps in the comp competition but it seems as if they won't get a chance to add a sixth next week Friday four minutes of time added on indicates the fourth official clear down for Ulmers They are the Jamaica College team prepping for the second semi-final, looking to earn a spot in the Walker Cup final, seemingly against the team that they beat in the final of the Manning Cup last year, St. Andrew Technical. Somewhat of a fierce rivalry has broken up between these two teams. And here, I was mentioning Wilmers as stalwarts of the Walker Cup. Here is another team that can call themselves that. Seven-time winners Excelsior. Seven-time winners of this very prestigious competition. It's the second most behind Kingston College and St. George's College, who both have nine. What action can we see in the final? minutes of this encounter Mark Roberts playing around with his defenders nothing doing says the referee well he does make the call now Kuhn goes back to Mark Roberts in goal spreads it wide to Kemar Thompson Time ticking along, I almost forgot 
the man, man of the match discussion. A couple of candidates, of course. Well, here comes Dave first. I think my favorites would be between Nicoy Gale, who got the proceedings going, and Richard Livingston, the say Andrew Technical captain, who scored the second goal, and I guess you can say provided a, an indirect assist for the third. <laughs> Has been extremely active as well, Livingston. I think I actually might lean his way. I actually lean the other way. I lean to Gale. Um, all facets of the game he's been involved. How do we break this deadlock? <laughs> I guess one of us has to draw a rank. Or maybe our producer can draw a rank for us. Here's Livingston. Can he tilt it in his favor? In my book, that is. Brooks. Here's Bygrave. Gave it away. Here's Day now. Yellow card being shown to J. Lloyd Smith. One last chance here for Wilmers. What might be the last kick of their under-19 schoolboy football season. That's it. Malik Reed has seen enough of this the first semi final of the Walker Cup. St. Andrew Technical, courtesy of Nikoi Gale in the 10th minute, as well as Richard Livingston and Ajitai Marshall later on in the game. Coming out 3 0 victors over Woolmers. And they book their spot in the final set for December 8 inside the National Stadium. Philip Williams, well, has a shot at silverware. Always present in a final, in a semi final. Whether or not it's a man in cup or in this season, the Walker Cup. This consulate is Woolmers, understandably so. But they were certainly outplayed by a superior team in St. Andrew Technical. Jerome Waite will have to wait for greatness for Woolmers. Confirmation of the full-time score, St. Andrew Technical 3, Wilmers Boys 0. Malik Reed got things going. Wilmers had the early forward thrust. Nothing converted from that. St. Andrew Technical going the other way. Beautiful ball played to Dwayne Atkinson. Forced wide and he fired wider of the upright Leon Brown had a glorious opportunity it was overcooked in the end things would change for St. Andrew Technical Nikoi Gale the ubiquitous holding midfielder everywhere in the park and into the back of the net he sent that ball as well his first of the season and what a time to score a chance for glory a chance in the final Nikoi Gale number five They loved it. He was sorrowful, joy unspeakable. They went forward. Salmon fired, saved, and the rebound was going to Livingston. He was fouled. He stepped up and he converted in minute 19. 
his 10th of the season. The captain for St. Andrew Technical. Dead ball specialist. And he duly obliged on that occasion, Richard Livingston. Salmon, what an afternoon he had. Always on target with his shots, but Jelani Yusim had his ticket. This one came to Atkinson. Yusim again coming up big and saving the attempt. Had some crucial saves, did Yusim. Another chance. Opening his body was it, Dwayne Atkinson. Yusim in the second half now, opening his arm. Another save. Boyne on his defenders, but they would succumb. Here's Salmon once more in the area with a shot, with a save from Jelani Yusim. I tell you what, there could have been a conversation for him being a man of the match, but three goals beyond him, it would have been out of reach. Defensive error led through. Livingston tried to cross it. Yusim. Actually played like a libero there in volleyball. Played it in the path of the substitute, Agitai Marshall. And on his birthday, he converted his fourth of the season. Yeah, that's volleyball there. That's a header on goal for Agitai Marshall. They weren't finished. Header on from Alex Xavier Gooden over the top. And that was the end of it. Stats confirming their place in the Walker Cup Final 2023. Here are the full-time statistics. Seven on target from 18 attempts from Stats. They could do better with accuracy. Three from five from Woolmers. 19 fouls, 10 of them to Woolmers. Yellow card split even, two between two teams. Two offsides apiece, five to four in corners uh, favoring Woolmers. Five to three saves. Yusum came up big. 65% of the possession to San Andre Technical with three goals to book their spot in the final. The Digicel man of the match is standing by. Yeah, thank you so much, Dean. The man of the match, Richard Livingston, his award being presented by Kaden Webley, the junior brand manager of Digicel. Thank you so much, Kaden. Let's have a chat now with Richard. Talk to me about that game. Were you happy with your performance? Well, that performance was a great one, but kudos to the boys because they are the ones that helped me to look so beautiful out here. Yeah, I, I want to ask you from a player's perspective, um, being knocked out of the Manning Cup and then coming to prepare to play for the Walker Cup, how was that transition in the mindset for you? How, did you able, how were you able to get yourself in the frame of mind to play this competition? Well, nevertheless, preparation didn't change because you have known St. Anthony Technical High School. I was one of the that most dominant school, so we continue the same training. I hear the boys today putting on a great performance. Yeah, you're into the final. Just tell me how much would you like to win the Walker Cup? Well, 100%. We will be the first St. Andrew Technical High School team to win the Walker Cup. All right, so we'll see you in the final. Well right. done, Richard. Thank you. That was Richard Livingston there, the man of the match. We'll have a chat shortly with Coach Jerome Waite of Wilma's Boys. Coach, obviously not the result that you would have wanted, but uh, just tell me about the game overall. Well, uh, the game was pretty much very physical. And not to take anything away from the opponent, they were the better team today. Yeah, uh, well, the, you go back to the drawing board now. This is a stepping stone in what has been a, a build-up um, for it, you. It, well, it's not be. about the drawing board. This is the final game of the season. So, you know, we will have to, you know, re refocus on the new generation at hand. Yeah, how do things look for Wilma's boys though, coming, going into next season, of course? We, we, have, we, have, we have some quality youngsters, and it will take time, you know, in terms of their development. All right, Coach, well, we look forward to seeing you next season. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. Yeah, that was Coach Jerome Wade there from Wilma's boys. Now, Coach Phil Williams from St. Andrew Technicals. Coach, into another final, and you must be very happy about that. Yeah, man, definitely. I mean, um, the boys came out here and gave a good account of themselves today. Um, the Woolmans team is a hard-running team and um, a young team, obviously. And um, they, they asked some amount of questions of us today, but I mean, um, we, 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 we answered those questions. Yes, yeah, Salmon had a, a number of opportunities. From a coaching standpoint, were you a little bit frustrated that he wasn't able to convert? Definitely. Um, we, we talk about chance creation and, 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 and conversion. And we can't be creating the chances and not um, converting them. Um, they are going to be tougher games. 
the final definitely is going to be a tougher game. So it's that side area that he definitely needs to work on if he's going to be um, the point man for us. You have a chance to be the first coach to bring a Walker Cup trophy back to St. Andrew Technical High School. How much are you looking forward to delivering the goods? Uh, we embrace it. I mean, yeah, it's a chance of um, bringing a, a title to, to Stats, a long-needed one. But it's also another chance for us to exhibit the brand football that we play at Stats. And those are, those are the platform that we want to, to be on. It's the final stage of the competition and to be playing good football. All right, Coach, thank you so much and congratulations. Yeah, man, thanks so much. Full time score, St. Andrew Technical 3, Wilmers Nils, St. Andrew Technical book their spot in the Walker Cup final for 2023. Yo, Issa, my schoolboy football look this season. People, I'm ready, you know. All right, then, Pico, Manning Cup, Oliver Yashil, you make willing to be watch the champions cup, then Francis Bata Cup, which team are winning the championship this season. Yo, it's a Boba Diver School, I got finished the league and beat now. Which you that got collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people. Yo, it's a Missy Panza roll out all boat, be a flag for a vehicle. Looking at the crowd, but slow that support us from school and community too. People, nothing at the stand, some of the support. Competition I never have a nice up. People love to see when boy I get nice up on the field. I'm gonna score from far and them love with peaceful and the youths now. Yo, it's a schoolboy football, no local. The youths are move on to international big league. And I steal people out, but member which party start. It's a schoolboy football. Good come, look one, look all. Which team are the best and I got better than the best and if I get him beat your chest. It's a schoolboy football. Coach Williams, when you look back at this 2023 Asa Schoolboy football season, what are some of the things that you will reflect on up until this point? I mean, um, the, 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 the entire journey from pre-season, um, the guys really put in a lot of sacrifice, um, countless hours away from home. Also, in terms of the quality that we, 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 we played right short, um, right up to the quarterfinal stage. I mean, it was, was a decent season for us. Um, guys um, really, really, really um, put on a good show for, for, for the public. Yeah, St. Andrew Technical High School, full of talent, full of young boys who want to showcase it. Uh, when you look at the team that you came up, the quality of boys that you had, what, what do you say about them? Never hear. The quality of the team that you have, uh, what would you say about them? Oh, yeah, um, I mean, they're, they're a young bunch, but I mean, as you say, they're, they're quality, quality players. Um, we have a system at stats there which the players know inside out. And um, that, 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 that they, try, they try to lend themselves and they do lend themselves day in, day out, much, much, much day on and off to, to the system. And I mean, um, when you put them all together, they are a very excited bunch to watch. Yeah, you're into the final Walker Cup. Uh, obviously, you wanted the Money Cup, but would you see winning this trophy, the first in St. Andrew Technical High School's history, as a consolation? I wouldn't see it as a consolation. It's a different competition, and I mean, I mean, we are giving it our honest effort, as you saw out there today. We play some good football, and it's a, it's a, it's a competition, a knockout competition that is separate from the, the, the main competition. So we don't.